Dude, I hate the Padres. Padres suck. Every time I see them on TV, all I think are like how stupid they are and they're just dumb. You know what I mean? Like anytime the Padres are on TV, I just think what it's just dumb people. Anyway, I hate the Padres. Padres. Dude, I hate the Padres. Padres suck. Every time I see them on TV, all I think are like how stupid they are and they're just dumb. You know what I mean? Like anytime the Padres are on TV, I just think what it's just dumb people. Anyway, I hate the Padres. Padres. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, yeah, your <laughs> season, season, season's over, man. Season's over. Um, this was by far the, the most disappointing road trip in franchise history. <laughs> yeah, this was the worst road trip in franchise history. El Paso Chihuahuas manager Edwin Rodriguez stepped down today. We are under 500 against the Rockies. The Potter, the, the pitiful Padres have been swept in consecutive three-game series at Coors Field for the first time ever. Let me say that one more time. Let me say that one more time. The Padres have been swept in consecutive three-game series at Coors Field for the first time ever. We finished the season series eight and eleven against the Colorado Rockies. Yo, external, why are you giving me a twenty piece, bro? You're a Dodgers fan, bro. I haven't seen you in the stream in forever, external. <laughs> Appreciate you, buddy. How you doing, next? guys? If you guys don't know, we're gonna get into this game. But guys, this is an OG. Like before, any of you guys know, knew this channel. External Void was watching me with like two people. He's a Dodger fan, so this is pity money. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you, External. I really do. Appreciate it, Eldon. Appreciate you, my man. Appreciate all y'all. Let's get into this game. Yeah, it's sympathy money. I'm serious. External, I appreciate the sympathy money. I appreciate the sympathy money, my man. You too, my guy, Eldon. You too. Shocked. External just, just came back two months later with the 20 piece. Anyways, appreciate you. Um, Jake Arietta. I know. My dog, yeah. Jake Arietta, hamstring injury, done. He was terrible. He sucks. He sucks. <laughs> you feel bad. You feel bad. Bro, that's your hard-earned, man. I really appreciate it, man. Yeah, it's, this is a huge collapse. This is by far the worst collapse in franchise history. This is This is bad. I never blamed Adam Frazier. I never blamed Adam Frazier. He sucks, though. He sucks. I'm so done with you. I'm so done with you saying he doesn't. Adam Frazier sucks. It's over, guys. It's over, okay? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I've been waiting to say it. I, 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 I've been waiting to say it, but um, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. I'll say one more time, guys. It's done.
You want to add insult to injury? You want to add insult to injury? I just told my mom I fed the dog. She fed him too. He's feasting off these Padres. It's over, guys. It's over. Guys, it's over. It's done. It's done. It's done. I fucking hate this team so much. I'm so done with this team. I'm so done with this team. I'm so done with this team. I'm so incredibly done with this team. I'm so done with this team. I'm going to say it a thousand more times. If you guys want to leave the stream, leave the stream. I'm so done with this team. I'm so done with this team. I'm so done with this team. Take a look at the Padres pitchers who got hurt this year. Mike, or just hurt. Mike Clevenger, Trey Wigginter, Castillo, Michelle Baez, Guerra, Morejon, Kella, Jacob Nix, Dan Altavilla, Taylor Williams, Drew Pomeranz, Hugh Darvish, Danelle Lomag, Chris Paddock, Matt Strom, and Jake fucking Arietta. It just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Appreciate you, Eldon Chris, with the five, man. Sympathy monies, guys. <laughs> I appreciate you, my boy. I appreciate you, sincerely. Nothing to say. There's nothing to say except thank you. But there's nothing to say. There's nothing to say. Um, guys, I was going to go to the game on Friday with Harrison. Um, I'm not going to go anymore. I was going to – Glick doesn't even want to come on stream anymore, guys. Adam Glick doesn't even want to come on stream anymore. We're not sweeping the Phillies. We're so bad. We're so bad. We are so bad right now. And sure, and sure, and everyone can be like, oh, my God, the Reds lost. The Reds lost. Guys, the only reason, the only reason, guys, let me explain to you something. The only reason why this team actually somehow has life is because Cincinnati fucking sucks too. <laughs> it's the only reason. You know, Glick asked a good question. Is 75 wins going to get you the National League wild card? <laughs> it sure fucking looks like it. Yeah, ADHD, the difference is they have no arms to put. They have no arms. Guys, 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 listen to this. Listen to the tune of this. Guys. Guys, Jake Arietta pitched for the San Diego Padres today. Jake Arietta. And he got hurt. I wonder why he threw a slider. And by the way, guys, let's take a look at Padres Twitter coverage right now. Jace, we know we've got to play better. We're going to play better. Jake Arrieta left with hamstring strain. He's fucked. Guys, look at just Twitter. Just look at Twitter, guys. The pain of being a San Diego sports fan. Jace Tingler called this a brutal road trip. Wow. That's a really good take. It's a really good take. Thank you, Jace. Listen to just look at the comments. 
Go tip your hat to the Rockies bullpen. They're one of the best. W. W. <sighs> Guys, I can't do this anymore. I don't even I don't I don't I don't even know what to tell the stream anymore, guys. How's everyone's Wednesday going, man? I was, you know. What do you want me to say? Folk champ, folk champ. Oh, and guys, by the way, you know, Mark Grant, right? Shut up, dude. I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear about home. This is this is this is this is a negative stream today. There's no room for positivity in this stream today. There's zero. So guys, guys, huge off day for the team tomorrow. Huge off day for the team. Huge, huge, you know? So, yeah, I'm lost for words. We're fucked, guys. We're fucked. Here's what I was going to say. Mark Grant, everybody, one of the nicest guys in the industry, one of the most positive guys. He's literally like, what the hell is Eric Cosmer swinging at a pitch that's about to hit him today? I'm so happy we have a day off. I can't stream tomorrow. I'm mentally ill. Guys, this doesn't help my mental health right now. I'm telling you guys, this is not helping me. Yeah, do you guys do you guys remember that? Do you guys remember that in the game right in the game today? There was a ball coming for Eric Hosmer's head. Guys, there's a ball coming to Eric Hosmer's head and he swings at it. Mark Grant's like, what the fuck are you doing? Dude, I don't want to check out a game. So I, I believe in this team. We're fucked. is on his way in stroke is on his way out pointing toward the heavens we can only ask or wonder that he is asking some departed relative for forgiveness for this atrocious performance is on his it's chase tangler yeah <laughs> it's chase tangler Tingler said they're frustrated and fed up. An edgy and upset group. I think that's good down the stretch. Shut the fuck up. Somebody want to tell me? Trip. Uh, definitely not expected, and you know it's it's where we're at. I mean, there's there's no way to say it. Just a brutal uh, uh, road trip, and uh, you know, on a lot of factors, just uh, you know, never got you know really anything going. You know, I was hoping uh, offensively would be a little bit better. You know, usually in Arizona, certainly Colorado, being able to get some more runs. Guys, crazy stat, isn't it? Huh? It's a crazy stat. Guys, look at that stat. It's ridiculous. It's a, it's a crazy statistic, guys. We're thirty-one and twenty against teams over five hundred, yet we're we're five hundred against teams under five hundred. It's a crazy stat. 
external void external void first of all i appreciate you again so much with that donation you're incredible i hope all is well with you and your dodgers i know your dodgers are nine and one their last 10 but external void it's not even colorado it's not even colorado external void it's this team has just been bad for the last three months honestly right uh, usually yeah. good places to hit and, and uh you know, we weren't able to, to, to meet by the way guys by the way there's nothing much more we can ask for guys you have an off day you have Blake Snell and Joe Musgrove going on Friday and Saturday. This is the make or break series. Can we all agree? Honestly, guys, this is the make it or break it series against the Phillies. You have Blake Snell and Joe Musgrove going. They, they have to deal. Because the Reds continue to give us life. While we are a terrible team, Cincinnati is losing two out of three to the Cubs right now. But now they face the fish. Now they face the fish. Hopefully the fish can deal. Zach Thompson goes tomorrow against the Reds. On Friday, Elisar Hernandez goes against Sonny Gray. Please Alcantara. On Saturday, please Alcantara against the Reds. We don't know. Fuck. Manufacture uh, enough. Um, had some chances today. We had some traffic, you know, which was good. Uh, but we weren't able to cash in. You know, I had a couple guys on. I thought Tommy put a great swing on a ball. You know, unfortunately hit it to the you know deepest part. Guys, tons of lineouts on ropes too, man, today. Dude, Connor Joe. Connor Joe. Connor fucking Joe, dude. Like Connor Joe just doesn't stop. The, the 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 stadium and so um and we got to continue to battle but we certainly need to get home and and uh we have to play better baseball frazier's hitting 240 as a padre let's take him with the offense for just a moment it seemed once again like there were a lot of early swings in the first couple of innings of this game and is it a situation that those are good pitches to hit and they just didn't curl it up and have a lot to show for it or is that a team being a little bit over aggressive in those situations yeah there was really we, we were swinging you know dude like, listen i'm not i'm not I'm, I'm done with that i'm telling you i'm feeling a breakout this weekend we have so many things number one was the no hitter okay we're gonna break out because of that number two is fernando returning we're gonna break out because of that i don't believe shit anymore until i actually see it i don't feel like we're gonna break out that's all bullshit all right Guys, the no-hitter couldn't turn us around. The Eric Hosmer speech in the clubhouse couldn't turn us around. Fernando Tatis Jr. returning couldn't turn us around. Those are three monumental things that couldn't turn this team around. So don't buy into that fucking bullshit. Early, the Chi Chi was around the plate, and then you know we were able to get some runs there. There early, obviously, Will uh, with the first two at bats, you know that he had, uh, um, it was able to drive the ball a little bit. But I uh, felt like you know early on we were barreling some balls and. You know, Yo, Hogs, like the stream for your boy. We got sixty-five people in here and only fifteen likes. Come on, y'all. Also, if you're new to the channel, man, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, join the Discord. One of you mods, please, please. Put the link to the Discord and and let the let let the plebes join. Let's hear the rest from Jace. Some of our our flares or some of the balls we hit, you know, in the gaps, it felt like you know, either Blackman or or Connor Joe was making a, a pretty good play here and there. So um, we we've got to continue to grind. We've we, we've got to um, you know stay in stay in our dugout, stay My in the God. batter's box at a longer period of time. Jace, what can you tell us about? Jake Arietta's outing today, both with. Here's the update on Arietta, everybody. The injury of why he left the ball game. What, what, what can you update us on? Yeah, I thought, you know, in the first inning, I thought, you know, Cronenworth, uh, you know, to Noel, I thought that was a huge play. Nola with, um, you know, kind of the pick at home and then did a good job of finishing the rundown. Um, and Jake Arietta could have easily allowed 11 runs. We got lucky on a lot of plays. The double play, Nola throwing guys out. Jake Arietta. Listen, this guy is, he's not good. And, uh, you know, as, as the, the game went on, I thought the second, third, you know, into that fourth inning, uh, I actually thought uh, Jake's stuff was getting sharper. I thought the velo was good. The movement was good. Offensively, yes, we've been unlucky. Defensively, we were extremely lucky today.
extremely. Um, I thought he was getting uh, more in the zone, and and it was really encouraging. Uh, then obviously came out with a, a left hamstring uh, deal. The trainers think it's uh, right now um, it's a mild left hand hamstring. And no one's talking about this right now, but guys, how frustrating are you if you're Fernando Tatis Jr.? You can get all the money in the world, but I'm shocked Mike Trout's I'm shocked Mike Trout stayed in, in Anaheim. I mean, obviously Fernando's just 22, but you know, guys, if this continues to be the MO of this organization, Fernando won't be a potter for 14 years. Maybe four though. String strain. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts. Uh, so we'll kind of see where it goes, but uh, hopefully that is the case and it's mild and and see how quick he can bounce back. So at this point, the hope and expectation is that he can't heal up and be back on the mound in, in five days or, or whenever. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about five days. You know, we'll we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but uh, uh, certainly, Arietta and you know the trainers were, were were thinking it was. You know, so who do you blame? Who do you blame, ADHD? Who do you blame then? So who do you blame? I can't wait because I know what you're going to say. Who do you blame? Honestly, I wouldn't mind Manny Machado leaving after the opt-out. That contract's going to be an albatross in the final four or five years. Guys, Manny Machado is not leaving the San Diego Padres. That contract is going to screw us in the final four years. So ADHD, where are you? You blame starting pitching, you blame injuries, you blame the offense. That all you blame starting pitching, right? Yeah, that falls under the coaching staff. Who hired who hires the guys on the coaching staff? Your manager. Injuries. Yeah, yeah. Larry Rothschild. Offense, Damian Easley. Who hired those guys? Jace Tingler. Fairly mild. Jace, when your team's going through a stretch like this, is it a situation of there needs to be more done by certain facets of your team or the team is trying to do too much? Where do you see that right now? Yeah, I mean. I don't blame the bullpen. Jace had no choice to tax the bullpen. Jace had no choice because the starters sucked, and now the bullpen's going to get exploded on. We've got to be better, you know, on on all aspects of the game. And, um, you know, what's frustrating and what everybody's frustrated about is, uh, you know, we, we, we've got the guys to do it. And so um, if it's these last 39 games, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, at the start of spring training, if if, if we said 39 games to go um, and we got a chance to get in and, or, you know, we're, we're up a game and a half, uh, we would take that now. We know we've got to play better baseball. Uh, we're going to play better baseball. We're going to get hot. Um, and, and, you know, j just to continue, the, you know, there is a sense of urgency. The guys are battling, playing hard. Um, but once we get – There's not a sense of urgency. There's not a sense of urgency. Guys, go to the fourth inning today. A routine fly out to center field. Trent Grisham jogs to the ball, tries to make a diving play, and it's a run. There's no sense of urgency in this clubhouse right now. That is fucking bullshit that there's a sense of urgency. A routine fly out to Trent Grisham in center field, the dude, the ball just drops. Are you really talking about a sense of urgency? Because you're lying to us when you say there's a sense of urgency in that clubhouse. And look at the Padres schedule now, everybody. Oh, baby, look at that schedule. Look at that schedule. No, Tatis not catching that ball, Annabelle, is very different. That's a tough play. He could have caught it, but Fernando's not going to dive head first and put his shoulder at risk. I'm talking about the Trent Grisham play. That Grisham play was extremely casual and fucking annoying. And you know what's so annoying about it? That give that you allow a run, which is, could be a game-changing play. And number two, I guarantee you Jace Tingler isn't saying shit to Trent Grisham. He's just putting his head down and he's spitting. He's chewing his tobacco at his fucking feet because he literally said nothing to Trent Grisham after that play. There needs to be some fucking accountability in this dugout right now. And Jay says these guys are angry. They're edgy. That is bullshit because you don't get mad at guys like Trent Grisham who fuck up your team like that. That is a season altering play. You never know that this season can come down to one game and you're going to look back at hustle plays, effort plays, or if I should say lack thereof, Trent Grisham, lack thereof. That is that is abysmal baseball.
get a couple of things clicking, whether it's offensively and get a couple of good starts. Um, and guys, stop with this bullshit. You'd rather play good teams at this point. It's not fucking getting fixed. The Dodgers, if we play like this, are going to harass us, guys. The Dodgers are going to harass us. The Dodgers and the Giants are by far the two best teams in baseball. They are playing so good. Guys, the Giants just swept the Mets easily. Just swept them, I think. Did they hold on? Guys, stop kidding yourselves. Oh, my God, the Giants choked. The Giants are about to win the game, though. The Giants are in the bottom of the 10th, 1-1. They choked in the 9th. They're going to win the game easily. Longoria's at bat. They're going to win. Guys, they, they just sweep teams, and these are good teams. The Padres are dead in the water. The Dodgers are going to harass the Padres. You know, we have a chance to get going. Thank you, Jason. Kevin Acey. Hey, Jason, what did you see that happened on the Grisham play in the third that turned in? Oh, my God. He's talking about the Grisham play. Let's hear it. Holy shit. Guys, he's literally asking about the Grisham play right now. Here we go, guys. Here's the thing on Grisham. Let's hear what he says. Single. Yeah, I thought uh, I, I thought the ball got caught up a little bit, you know, in the sun, and I think that's where you know Grish lost it for a second. Two things. Number one, Caden, the Mets are not easier to sweep than the fucking Colorado Rockies or the Arizona Diamondbacks. We just got swept by the Rockies. Number two. Listen to Jace Tingler not hold Trent Grisham accountable and immediately start out his answer by this. Happened on the Grisham play in the third that turned into a single. Yeah, I thought uh, I, I thought the ball got caught up a little bit, you know, in the sun and. The ball got caught up in the sun. The ball got caught up in the sun. The ball got caught up in the sun. I think that's where, you know, Gris lost it for a second and, and, and wasn't able to get to the spot. Uh, and obviously that, that ball dropped in. So, you know, you're sitting there and, and, uh, you know, Grish is, you know, usually a sure handed and as good as anybody out there in center. And, and uh, you know, I think that's a play he'd said, you know, he, he, he would have, you know, 10 times out of 10. So, 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 so that, so that, so that's his way. So, so, so that's his way of getting at Trent Grisham. That's a play he gets 10 out of 10. By the way, guys. By the way, guys, by the way. You guys want the Giants to win. I'm telling you. You want the Giants to win. The Giants losing this game would be terrible. Because the Dodgers are allergic to losing. But guys... But guys, is, is, is there a way? Here, let's go to the play. When was it? I don't, I don't want to. Jason, how, how are you going to survive these 39 games with the state of your starting pitching? What is your path? Yeah, it's, you know, no excuses. It's, it, it's everybody coming together. This is what we got. Hey, at least Adam Frazier was good today. Um, this is the group we have. There's a ton of belief, um, you know, in the group. They're, they're Fernando Tatis gets the day off. The dude is a hit machine. Adam Frazier, besides Fernando, only Padre without a hit today against Chichi Gonzalez. Adam Frazier's a lefty. Chichi's a righty. Chichi came in with the six ERA, faced the horrific Rockies bullpen. Adam Frazier could not get a hit today. Could not get a hit today. There's nobody else coming. This is it. And so it's it, it's got to be a group of men just fighting, competing for every pitch. Uh, honestly, it's just a fight for the strike zone. You know, when we're on the mound, getting strike one and staying aggressive and then being relentless in the zone uh, at the plate. Um, 
those are the things we're going to have to do. And, and you can't take pitches off. We can't take innings off. It's just going to be a group, um, you know, constantly these last 39 games, what we have to do. It's, it's uh, you know, these things are hard to, to, to fight out of. Um, but if you can, and we will, I mean, these things are going to make us stronger here. So uh, what we have is a great opportunity in front of us. Uh, now, you know, like I said last night, we've got to go take it. That's motivating, bro. It's motivating. Facts. Facts, Kevin Pratt. Subscribe to the channel, Kevin Pratt. And everybody. Brutal. I'm trying to find this Christian play. God, we're so fucked. If you guys haven't, if you guys have not, please join the Discord. Join the Discord. It was ugly in there today. But you just can't get expired when you hear Jace Tingler talk. It's, it's, it's pretty simple. You, you, you just – like, how, how is this inspiring, guys? Arietta on the hamstring. Fortunately, it's minor. I won't be out very long. He says that he's had strains that felt significantly worse. Will Myers says the team needs to focus on what they're capable of and not focus on the negatives because then the negatives pile up. Said they love playing at home and in front of the crowd and are looking forward to doing that and using it to turn things around. You guys got any questions for me? I'll answer this. ADHD, do they face wheel? Let me see. I don't know. Matt Moore. Guys, Matt Moore on Friday against Blake Snell. Matt Moore is terrible. You guys see that ERA? All right, so that's Matt Moore. He sucks. Saturday, it's Aaron Nola versus Joe Musgrove. Focus. You want to focus? 4.5 ERA for Nola. Sunday, Kyle Gibson. Sunday's Kyle Gibson. They avoid Zach Wheeler. The Padres avoid Zach Wheeler. I mean, how was your day? I mean, I've really done nothing else except watch this team ruin my day. So, yeah, not great, Daniel. Will the Padres have a winning record at the end of the season? Uh, dude. <laughs> yes, yes. Will they win 90 games? I don't think so. I don't know. Probably not at this point. I can't even think about next season until we're done, bro. How's everybody doing, man? Welcome to the Hogwatch post-game live stream show. I'm your host, Borna, a.k.a. Hog, talking about the Padres getting absolutely swept in Colorado. If you have not, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, man. We're getting close to – let's get to 1,300 subscribers. Hit that like button. Mods, please, ADHD, one of y'all, put the link to the Discord, man. Um, appreciate you, Adam K, man, for the donation, bro. Thank you for allowing us to vent with you, Hog. It helps. Bro, thank you guys for wanting to listen to me vent, bro. I really appreciate your support. Um, 
And guys, seriously, guys, first of all, Adam K, you're absolutely a stud. I really appreciate it, guys. This is a – listen, guys, this is where we all come together and talk because, you know, Adam Glick brings this up too. This is a time where it's it's stressful, guys. You know, this shit – this shit ruins your day. Um, whose birthday is it? What? Um, and uh, this is this is a this is a therapy session, you know. It's a free therapy session for all of us. And Adam K, I appreciate you riding with me, man. Your generosity is unparalleled. I really do appreciate your support, guys. All of you guys. Thank you, Adam K. Oh my God, bro, dude, dude, go have a good B day today. Screw this team, bro. It's a it's a Hog, it's just one game. Seriously, though, for your birthday, it is just one game. Go enjoy your day, buddy. Adam K, again, you're crazy, bro. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Borna, what's with this team and having trouble against ground ball pitchers? We always succeed versus high K rate pitchers, but never ground ball guys. Well, here's one thing I've noticed. I think especially with ground ball pitchers, and I don't know why, guys, have you noticed every first inning in Colorado, the pitcher has thrown less than 10 pitches. The team does is allergic to working counts. I understand when you're struggling as a hitter, if you see a pitch in the zone, you want to swing at it. But with this team and how struggling they are at the plate, you should be working counts. Because when you work counts, it not only drives up starters' pitch counts, but it gives you a good chance to get on base, especially when there's erratic starters. When you have guys that get on base, then you can put yourself in run scoring situations. But my fellow Hogs, this team just did not want to work counts at all. And, and, and it punished them. It, it really did punish them. Go celebrate your birthday, bro. Get out of here, bro. But they need to take more pitches. The, the, no one's walking, and, and I don't care. If, I don't care if an, an OO pitch is a strike. Just take it because right now it's ground ball city. Just take the pitch because with this Padres team, if you get a walk, there's a good chance it's a double because this team is good at stealing bases. At least they used to be good. But when you're struggling offensively, you tend to press and you tend to swing at that first pitch. You guys remember Trent Grisham? Guys, notice Trent Grisham right now. Notice Trent Grisham right now. When he was struggling, what was he doing? I was telling the stream. ADHD knows everyone knows this. He was swinging at the first pitch all the time because he just wanted to see a ball land. But what allowed Trent Grisham to start producing again? He started working counts. He started getting stingy. He started walking. And in turn, it started causing those extra base hits. It started causing those home runs. Now, what did you think of Will Myers' third at bat? It was really weird because he was swinging at sliders where he usually just didn't swing at. You know, he got hangers in uh, – he got he got hangers in those first two at-bats and he deposited that first pitch in the at-bat, he got a hanger. So a lot of people are talking about external void. Um, how you doing, big buddy? Again, I appreciate your donation again, external. You're crazy. If you could bring up one of the Padres minor leagues right now, who would it be? You know, I, I've been hearing the name Adrian Martinez and, and him recently get called up to El Paso, but um, he just got absolutely blown up in his first start with the Chihuahuas. Three innings pitched, seven earned runs, seven hits. And I know everyone was saying he was dealing for the missions. He had a 7-3 and three record with a 2.3 ERA for the San Antonio mission. So they just called him up and then he just got blown up in his first career start in the Pacific coast league. There's no one to call up. If you're talking about a pitcher, there's no one to call up. Can't be though. It's killing it. As Tom Ferris says, can't be is killing it. But the problem is exactly. We don't need another catcher. We need pitching, but our prospects suck. Mackenzie Gore sucks. Mackenzie Gore sucks. I'm surprised they didn't sign Aaron Sanchez though. I'm, 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 I'm very surprised they did not sign Aaron Sanchez. Very surprised. Again, how's everybody doing, man? Welcome to the post-game show. It's really, really tough day in San Diego. I want to hear some other post-games. If you have not, guys, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Join the Discord. 
I'm so disappointed in my mods for not one of them linking the Discord. Shaking my head, guys. We suck. Wow, we suck. By the way, the Giants are going to lose. Fuck. Hopefully not. Oh, my God. Please. Please not. Giants are probably going to lose. Thanks, ADHD. Thank you. Can't be can't call games. Blake Snow refuses. So are you going to go to San Francisco? Are you going to go for San No, dude. I'm going for an American League team. Fuck the Giants, man. No, but ADHD, honestly, I, I, I'm honestly a little worried. I, I mean, let's say let's say there's a small chance the Padres make the playoffs. You don't want to face the Giants in the wild start game, but you want to face the Dodgers. You want to face the Dodgers. Okay, so let's talk about Manny Machado today. Yo, Steven, Steven Blitz, you're at the game today. That's dope. Is there a reason why um why I hope you subscribe to the channel, Steven, by the way. Seems like you're new 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 viewer, man. I hope you subscribe to the channel. Do you know why Manny Machado was not using batting gloves today? What's the deal with Manny Machado and no batting gloves? No, we want to face the Dodgers because if because we won't beat the Dodgers in a five game series. No chance. It seems like Manny Machado, yeah, he no, he's just in his head. There, there, there's no other reason. Like Manny Machado has to be in his head. Why, why, why is he taking off his batting gloves? Like that makes no sense. I've never seen him once use bat, like not use batting gloves. What do you mean he talked to Myers? Is that a joke? Is that a joke? Like obviously I know Will Myers doesn't use batting gloves, but guys, what's the deal? Andy, I got you with the Lakers content soon, man. It's picking up. It's picking up. He's like Will Myers gets home runs without batting gloves. Dude, I don't know what the deal is, guys. I just don't know what the deal is, man. We're fucked. Guys, this this, this sucks the energy out of me, man. Can we please? Guys, huge day off. Do we have an update on Paddock? I think Tingler's lost the clubhouse. Guys, honestly, honestly, what are the odds that Tingler – what are the odds that he's lost the clubhouse? Of course, Andy. Of course. Soon, Andy. Andy, I want this Padre season to end first. I want to be put out of my misery first before I transition to the Los Angeles Lakers. Guys, throwback when Lamette. Throwback when Lamette. Oh my God, did the Giants do it? Did the Giants do it? Yes, Giants tie it up. Let's go. Let's go. We'll see. I don't know if he is. Season's so fucked, man. Yes, sir, they are. You know, in the first inning, I thought, you know, Cronenworth, uh, you know, to Nola, I thought that was a huge play. Nola with, um, you know, kind of the pick at home and then did a good job of finishing the rundown. Um, and, uh, you know, as, as the, the game went on, I thought the second, third, you know, into that fourth inning, uh, I actually thought uh, Jake's stuff was getting sharper. I thought the feel was good. The movement was good. 
Um, I thought he was getting uh, more in the zone and, and it was really encouraging. Uh, then obviously came out with a, a left hamstring uh, deal. The trainers think it's uh, right now, um, it's a mild. Oh, here's a question they asked Jason about why they play better with teams higher in the standings. I, I don't know how, except, you know, we, we, we've been inconsistent, no doubt about it. Uh, you know, we, we haven't been great on the road. We haven't been uh, good against, you know, some of the teams with below 500 records. Um, you know, every time you come in here, you know, this place is a little bit different. It's, it's, uh, it's extremely tough to win here, but I, I don't think we played our best baseball. And so I don't know if uh, there's an explanation, but I do know when we're playing our best game um, and we feel we can beat some of the top tier teams in the league. And we've done that early on. We haven't been consistent. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but I don't think it's a matter guys, of who we're playing down the stretch. I think it's a matter of. Guys, do you think the lack of consistency in the lineup can play a role into this offense being bad? Guys, honestly, do, 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 do you think. Do you, do you guys honestly think the, the the lack of consistency, the lack of consistency, just his lineup is always so – it's never a solidified lineup. He's, he's moving things around all the time. Yeah, it's the co comment of the day. Comment of the day. Riley Reed doesn't even like to suck. She likes taking. Please, Brandon Crawford, please. All right, guys. Chat, 1 to 10. Optimism levels, the Padres are making the playoffs. New day, I'm asking. Optimism levels, everybody. What is your optimism levels? Fire away to hog. Yeah, no one knows. Oh, Gordillo, I haven't seen you in a minute, my guy. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, guys, if the homestand goes bad, it's it's over. Guys, here we go now. The the easy stretch of our schedule is basically done. At least the Padres did well in it. So guys. In, in quote the easy part of our schedule, the Padres went so far in August. Three and three, five and four. Six. The Padres are six and nine in August. The easiest part of our schedule, six and nine in August. Honestly, honestly, I don't think 90 wins is. I, I, I think I think 88 wins gets you in this year. It's so ugly right now. I think 88 gets in. Um, I disagree. I disagree with this sentiment because expectation is a very, very interesting concept. Do Zerk Chris 619. By the way, it seems like you need the channel, man. Doozer. Hope you subscribe. Join the hog watch. But expectation is very, very different. All right. There was no expectation in those losing seasons. Guys, there was World Series expectations with this team this year. Maybe those were out of flow, but 
this team was as surefire as anybody besides the Dodgers to make the postseason. Yeah, the Reds keep losing to shitty teams, though, too, man. Guys, the Reds, the Reds keep giving us life. They lost again today. We're still one and a half up somehow. And now, everybody, here comes the St. Louis Cardinals. Here comes the St. Louis Cardinals. Here comes the, the Philadelphia Phillies. You guys have to remember, the Cardinals are three and a half back now. The, the, the Phillies are four back now. It's not just the Reds, guys. But, guys, it's just not the Reds anymore. The Cardinals are eight and two in their last ten. They're three and a half back. The Phillies are four back. And the Thank God the Cardinals play the Brewers, man. Guys, the Padres are one loss away from being 10 games over 500. They are almost going to be under 10 games of over 500. And guys, the last two days, the Padres have had the opportunity to extend their lead in the National League wild card, and they couldn't do it. The Reds lost two days in a row to the Cubs. The Reds aren't good, guys. The Padres are just so bad. Like the Reds aren't good. The Padres are just extremely bad, my fellow hogs. No, it wouldn't, bro. Ten wins over. 10 games over uh, over 500. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about just I mean I mean I mean 10 games above like we're 67 and 56. I know it's obviously been the talk over the last <clears throat> week or two, but uh, you know if you can focus on that and focus on the negatives, uh, you know those those will end up piling up. I think uh, <clears throat> for us, we're a team that can uh, really go out and get hot at any given point. We can run out to ten wins in a row. We could do. Uh, we, we, we've, we've shown that. Uh, so at the end of the day, if we want to focus on the negatives, I feel like those those things will continue to pile up. If we just look ahead, uh, know what we're highly capable of, um, the, the negatives will start to go away, and we'll see more positive results. Uh, you know, I know it's obviously been the talk over the last <clears throat> week or two. Sounds pretty cap. Will was good today, though. It's been the talk over the last. You can, you can definitely go through. This is Myers on when if the, if players are trying to do too much. I think uh, you know, you can. You can definitely go through a time of doing too much. Sometimes, you know, really trying to do too much can, can help you at times, but other times it it, uh, it doesn't. Um, you know, I think it's one of those things that, uh, you know, we've definitely had some some unluckiness to us along with some, you know, some play that hasn't been as, as, as our expectations. But um, at the end of the day, those are things that happen. Uh, like I said, if you continue to focus on them and talk about them, that, uh, you know, it'd be harder to get out of them. So we focus on. As soon, as soon as I landed uh, on the right flag, you know, I felt the grab. Um, but I've had two of these in the past that were uh, significantly worse than this one, which is a great sign. Uh, and testing the strength with the trainers post game. Um, What's up, Chap? The tests were good. Strength is is uh, at a pretty high level, uh, and that's something that wasn't the case with the two previous hamstrings that I've had. Um, and I and I came back pretty quick from those two, so. Um, you know, should be able to bounce back a lot sooner than I was able to uh, in the past. As soon as I landed uh, on the left leg. Bro, you don't got to watch, bro. 
Dude, you don't got to watch, bro. I'm chilling right now. I'm honestly not even mad anymore. I'm chilling, bro. I'm just talking to y'all. You don't have to be in here, my man. I appreciate your support, though. Snell used to throw a gem on Friday. I always go out to Petco and cheer them up every road trip. Do you think they deserve that today? Should I go? I always go out to Petco and cheer them up for every road trip. What do you mean? They're coming home, bro. What do you mean? Oh, when they come back from every road trip? Yeah, I mean, if you actually do that, you should. I mean, this team needs it right now. They need fans that are optimistic. You know, no, you should go. They hear idiots like me on the internet. You know, you should go, bro. Guys, Jace Tingler quote. Guys, here's 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 the be, here's the best Tingler here's the best Tingler quote. We're going to play better baseball. We're going to get hot. <laughs> oh, this is a W. Oh, my God. Guys, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Hogborna. Oh. Oh. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Bro, it's so funny. The Andy Green tweet is hilarious. Oh, my God. Y'all, any other questions? If you guys got any other questions, let me know right now. If not, we'll 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 sign off. Um, much needed off day tomorrow, guys. For me too. I'm a we'll preview the forty. I'm gonna preview Chargers 49ers probably tomorrow night. What's up, YJD? Yes, sir, man. Seems like you need to the channel, buddy. Hope you subscribe. Join the Hogwatch. New viewer, everybody. Shout out YJD. I think. I think. All right, guys. That's it for me. Take care. Follow me on Twitter at Hogborna. We're fucked. We're fucked against LA. We have a we have we have an off day on Monday, but Blake Snell and Musgrove are pitching um, Friday, Saturday. We're fucked. We're fucked for the Dodgers series. Nobody's pitching. Jake Arrieta is pitching against the Dodgers. Yeah, Jake Arrieta for sure. Is her. Oh, that's gonna be so funny. That is gonna be so funny. Oh my god. All right, guys. Peace.